Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron, I hope you're having a great day in Jesus. Tom Odin, who, you know, pretty popular as a theologian. Um, this is a combination of his three volume set on systematic theology. And I will tell you this, I really didn't know that till I got it. I'll let you see that fly leaf there. Because years ago, I may have actually already done a review on that three volume set, but at least they have it in one volume and it's pretty reasonably priced from ChristianBook.com. I got this recently from ChristianBook.com. Now, over the years, I will say, I'll show you what it looks like without the dust jacket as well. Um, I have learned so much from systematic theologies because basically what a systematic theology will do, it'll state a truth and then it'll give the scriptures and nuances about that truth. State another truth. scripture, And so it's a way to get a lot of information in just a little bit. So this is his individually titled The Living God, The Word of Life, and Life in the Spirit. He is a professor at Drew, Univer uh, Drew University. Um, so here we go. I'll just show you kind of what's in some of the... Uh, table of content. Now, I'm also looking here at Classic Christianity and a book that I read multiple times by Paul George had a deep impact on me. Now, I didn't agree with it totally theologically, but somewhat theologically, and it was fantastic. And it was called Classic Christianity by Paul George. And so I need to write myself a note here and say I'm going to do a review on that because I don't think I've done a review on that classic Christianity. I'm also going to write down Bondage Breaker because that's another book I read multiple times by Neil Anderson that I really like because that is profound about how God uh, helps us with the new birth experience. So God is spirit. That God is spirit is the most direct definition of God that Jesus offered. Jesus was speaking to a woman of Samaria. God is pure spirit is the father of our spirits who creates uh, self-determining responsible beings and enters into interpersonal interaction and community. So all that is just fantastic. That goes back to Aquinas, the God is simple. He is a spirit. And so, you know, being oneness, that's, that's very much what we believe. Okay, the argument from design. And the fullness of that spirit is in Jesus Christ. So this is the existence of God. So see, that's what I mean. Okay, you just sit down and start reading this. I'm going to guess um, when you get through reading this book, you will have the equivalent. Now, let me say how I could say this uh, of a semester of a master's degree, maybe a little more. Because I'll tell you, that little book that they came out with about a portable seminary, you know, in one volume, this is going to have so much more than that. I've got to do this. Uh, the son, not the Godhead, was humbled. So look at that. Oh, man. See, there's some stuff there. Uh, word made flesh, God's empathy, a holy voluntary act, proclaimer proclaimed the historical Jesus, why his teaching was addressed to the Jews first. So like a book like this, let's say you've only got money for one book outside the Bible. Well, as long as you prayed and spit out the sticks and ate the food of this, you could spend the next at least two or three years, I'm sure, reading this. And when you got through, you would know more about the Bible than many of the most popular preachers on YouTube or TBN. <laughs> you just would. So let's see who recommends this. Religious Studies Review, The Reformed Journal, Paradigms, First Things. I just subscribe to First Things. I'll let you know how that goes. I've had a friend of mine just begging me to for years, 
and I've just I've been really attracted to um, interpretation Virginia Theological Journal the Journal of Religion Journal of Ecumenical Studies the whole volume is both learned and lucid boy that's true look at this adoption defined in salvation the Westminster Confession the loss of entitlement restored by grace see this is just amazing so you get a book like this and you're just going to know the ins and outs of Scripture. People have dedicated their lives several hours a day to studying these various issues. So I'll show you another neat thing I really liked about in the back of this book. Because you talk about packed with Scripture. Now I'm a numbers guy. I tend to remember numbers for some reason. Fire is a metaphor. Abbreviations, references. So... In this index, like uh, Job or Joel or John, it lists all the places. So that's a handy dandy little thing. Say, I want to study John 1. Well, you can look up John 1 right here. This is put out by Harper 1. Harper now owns. Let's see, they own Zondervan and Thomas Nelson. And now that Thompson Chain has sold out to Zondervan, got a video out or coming out on that, um, then, you know, Harper's like buying Christian book selling. Mm, interesting. So, A Systematic Theology, Classic Christianity by Tom Oden. Odin, more than 20 widely read books. Uh, he's also, oh, I meant to say this. He's the general editor of the Pioneering Series, the Ancient Christian Commentary on Scripture. That has been wildly popular. Now, I've got, I may have done a review on it a couple years ago. I can't remember. I do a lot of reviews, as you can tell. Um, I was nonplussed by it. But I think just because of the concept and the graphics are unreal, a lot of people liked it. So, Classic Christianity, Tom Odom, God bless. Talk with you later. Systematic Theology, great book.